I am very, very blessed to be able to speak to you this morning. Have all of you ever used the term, a matter of fact? What do you consider a matter of fact? Well, I can give you some facts. The first and most important one that you will ever hear is God is real. God is not only real, he's with you all the time. He speaks to you, he guides you, he does all the things that you think he should do. But you ignore him. Many people ignore God. That's another fact. Facts, you see, are very important. Humans have really no idea what the facts are. A human is sent back having absolutely no knowledge of the wonderful world that is around him or her and that will greet them when they decide to pass from this life. That's all a matter of fact. When you are born, you have experienced one of the most amazing miracles that God has ever done. He took two cells and created a living, thinking human being from them. It is a fact that that is an incredible miracle. Now, there are many people that don't consider it a miracle. They just take it for granted. And that's also a sad fact. Many people look at that miracle, the miracle of birth that is about to happen for them, and they decide they don't want that miracle to take place. They don't want it born. They don't want that life plan to ever come about. And they want that baby dead. Yes, I use the word dead. That baby is a living human being with a life plan. When you abort that baby, you're killing it. That's about as firm as I can be. But that is a matter of fact. Most people turn to God when they feel that they need him. They feel that something is going wrong in their life. So if they ask God to help, he'll certainly jump in and, and assist. You heard the old saying, there's no such thing as an atheist in a foxhole. That soldier feels he needs God because he may be joining him. He doesn't know, but fear is driving him to God. Why is it that fear is what drives people to God? Because that's another matter of fact. Love should drive you to God, not fear. Many people fear death. You don't have to. I know Barry and Connie sitting here don't fear death because they know what it is. They know that it, that will be the doorway for them returning home so that we may speak with them and be with them again. They do not fear death. We know that. We know what's in their hearts. We also know what's in your heart. You may not know that, but we know. Death is nothing to be feared, and that is a fact. You see, folks, there are many things out there that are facts that you don't want to hear. There are many of you out there that have accumulated great wealth, and that's a blessing that God has given you. That's a fact. Many of you are not using that wealth to help others. And you are going against his wishes when you do that. And that is a fact. Life can be so very simple for you. Many of you feel depression. Many of you show anger and hatred. I guarantee you that if you slow down or stop showing those emotions, you'll be much happier. That is a fact as well. You see, many things are facts and many things aren't. You perceive your life in a certain way. 
we perceive your life in another way. We look at it as how you are following your life plan. You look at it as how you can achieve self-gratification, how you can do things that you enjoy, how you can maybe hurt others, how you can gain power, how you can do all the things that take you from your life plan. There will be a time that you will be judged for how you live your life, and that is a fact. So you see, maybe the facts that you perceive are not the real facts. I know many of you find that very difficult to conceive of. Many of you absolutely do not believe the powers of God. He asks you every week to help pass on his words. Oh, we listen to him when he speaks on, on Wednesday mornings for Barry. He brings you the absolute facts. You really don't have to listen to anything else. Listen to what he says and follow those words and you will be achieving your life plan. That is the greatest expectation that we have for you. Many people have trouble perceiving right and wrong. Now that's hard to understand for us. You see over here, we only think about right. Heaven is a wonderful place. There's no hatred here. Oh, there are some souls here that still maintain a strong dislike for other souls, but we don't allow hatred. We don't allow evil. You see, heaven is the most incredible place that you can never comprehend until you join us. And then you will know, and hopefully you will have a wonderful judgment and heaven will be a place beyond all of your expectations. Those of you that do not have the common sense to know the difference between right and wrong will not enjoy the benefits as those that understand. Many people distort facts. Today, if you listen to your news, you will hear many facts distorted. Your politicians are incredible at distorting facts. You see, many of them have lost the concept of right and wrong. They think that right is being reelected, and they'll do anything to do that because it's power, it's strength, it's wonderful for their egos. Oh, I'm one of the best elected officials ever. I have millions of dollars coming in to assure that I'm still elected. With all that money behind me, I don't have to know what's right and wrong. I just have to know what they want. I just have to do what I am told because I am now worshiping at the idol of money and power. And once you start to worship at that idol, you don't have to worry about anything, according to you. But yes, you do have something to worry about when you return. Because you have taken the blessings of God, the strength, the wealth, whatever he's given you is a blessing. Don't ever think it's not. And you have taken that blessing. And you have distorted it. You have shown that you do not understand right and wrong. And you are worshiping at the idol of greed. You are worshiping at the idol of power. And you are living by the strength of your egos that have grown far beyond the capacity of what you think, of what you think is right and wrong. You see, we get a little excited here when we talk about this. We try to tell you what is right and what is wrong and what you should do and what are the facts and what, what should take place in your lives. But you close your ears to what we say and you do exactly what you want. And sadly, that is a fact. We can try to lead you 
We can try to show you the way. We can try to show you where the light of God truly is. But you often choose to ignore it. You are living in incredibly troubled times. God has sent many messengers back to try to guide you. Keep this in mind. Not all the messengers that we have sent back have the powers to speak our words, as you're hearing this morning. There are many people out there that are doing good that will never be recognized for what they're doing. There are people that go to senior living facilities and tell the people in those homes that they love them. There are ministers that are trying to do their very, very best to help others. They devote their lives to it. There are people that are messengers of God that you have no concept of. Sit back and think what you can do to help others. If you do that, then you become a messenger of God. Have you ever thought of it like that? Help spread his words. And you will be a messenger of God as well. You see, it doesn't take great study. It doesn't take listening to religious shows on the airways. It doesn't take memorizing the Bible. All it takes is for you to go out and help others. How you help others, how you show what's right, how you show what's wrong. That is the true path to God. And that is a fact. I know that you're getting tired of hearing me keep saying that. But you need to know what is real and what is not. Serving God is real. Leading people away from him is not. What could be more simple? What could be easier? What could be more common sense? Step back and think about what is right. It is your responsibility as a human to help others. There are many that need your help. You don't realize that. You could be a simple person living in a shelter. But if you take time to help the others in that shelter, you're a messenger of God. It is the easiest thing that you will ever comprehend. Now, humans will never comprehend many of the great truths of the universe. That is simply beyond their capabilities. It's beyond, it's beyond their mental capacities. And God doesn't want you to know that yet. Humans are a young culture. They have to learn. They're violent. They would rather kill than live in peace. All of this ties into greed. All of this ties into ego. But you all know that. It's common sense. Go out, spread the words of God. Know that you're doing what he wants. Know that if you do this, you have no fear. Let the light of God shine in your life. Go out and just be the good person that you're capable of. So I thank you very much for letting me speak this morning. It's been a long time. When you haven't been able to talk to humans for a couple thousand years, it's a big deal. I hope that you consider it a big deal to hear what we have to say. God is here. God's always here. God is blessing all of you that are listening to this message. Follow his words and all will be well. Goodbye.